I already lost my start there, guys, but don't worry because it's the end of the year. This is our final show, but guys, I'm your host, Mason Howell, and your resident handbag historian here at What Goes Around Comes Around, and this is our final show of 2023. Guys, we are so, so sad, but we are also so thankful because we have had all of you, our amazing host, and of course, our amazing guest here as well, everyone. You, our clients, our amazing viewers, have made what goes around comes around live possible. We couldn't be more thankful. We have done such amazing sales, all thanks to you guys. And we now have our handbag hangout crew. I mean, so many great things to look back on from 2023. And I believe we are coming up on almost 200 shows since April. So obviously, we are going to double that in 2024. So don't worry, guys. We will be back on January 2nd for another show and we're just gonna keep making it happen, right? All right, guys, so we are tuned in on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, what goes around nyc.com, which is shoppable. And guess what? We have deals up to 40% off. I think even sometimes a little higher than that. So I will be calling out those deals as well, along with amazon.com slash what goes around comes around. We already have some new followers. Kathy, thank you so much for following us. Guys, you wanna be like Kathy and not miss a moment of these shows or of me your amazing host and handbag historian, head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around, hit that follow button and what goes around nyc.com. You'll see the show in the left hand corner. Click that, it'll pop up. Right now on Instagram, you're currently only seeing our vertical view here, but we have an entire closet array of all these beautiful items behind me that will be showing tonight. So I guess without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Am I right? And welcome guys, thank you so much. Feel free to say hello, you know, anything. I'm also here with our wonderful moderator, Dylan, as well. So guys, final show, it's 70s inspired, but I brought a few pieces out that are in a 70s, just because I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bring out some amazing deals for you all. So let's go ahead and start off with our very first piece. And we're gonna start off with a little Balenciaga. Honestly, I'm obsessed with Balenciaga. And this is one of my favorite Balenciaga collections. Of course, the city bag is always a tried and true favorite but this one is just, it's something different. This is the Balenciaga Gray Caskin Papier A4 Zip Around Tote. This is the mini version, basically. And the Papier collection was actually first released during the spring, summer 2013, before Dimna Gavalia joined Balenciaga. So what I love about this piece is, it's very similar to like, that 2013 era is very like when the luggage tote from Celine was big. So this definitely has that kind of, luggage phantom style to it. You get the shoulder strap, which is removable. My favorite part about the shoulder strap is you have the hidden points right here. I'll show you right there on this bag. Those parts are hidden, which allows for you when you do take the bag off, that you won't see the rings there. So I love that about this bag. And something about Balenciaga, they do very well. And so does Prada. Prada does that pretty awesome as well. Then of course, you have a mirror, which here what goes around comes around. We're gonna ensure we try to bring you all of the accoutrements that were originally with the piece. The shoulder strap, the mirror, you don't often get that on the pre-love market, but here what goes around comes around, you can be sure to get it. And we also have it where it's not cracked. Little fingerprints, but that's just my little love of fingerprints right there. <laughs> so inside is of course this beautiful unlined with the suede there, four feet at the base, zip pocket on one side. I love this, and the smell of it, oh my gosh, Balenciaga leather, it's, it just has a different scent to it, it's so good. If you guys ever have a Balenciaga bag, get your hands on it, take a big whiff, it is delicious. And I love the shoulder strap, easily goes over your shoulder. You can really stuff this full, it's called the Papier because it's named after 
Poitiers, which means paper in French. It's a beautiful piece. You get the little city elements here. Absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. So we love this bag. This bag was $1,305, but you guys, it is on promotion on what goes around NYC.com. So this piece is only $945, guys. That's a savings of $405 on this piece. This piece is no longer in production on the retail market. So the only place you can get it is on the pre-loved market. And where else are you gonna find it in this great of condition? Except for what goes around comes around. Everything authenticity guaranteed. We are one of the only people on Amazon that actually is allowed to sell pre-loved goods, luxury goods, so kind of amazing. I mean, if that says anything, it says it right there. So once again, guys, this piece, $1,350. You're saving $405, making this only $945. Beautiful, right? Absolutely stunning. And feel free to shout out, guys. If you see anything in the carousel, you're like, I want to see this. I love it. So, all right, guys, who is having a wonderful night? Tell me what's going on. Just say hello. I love hearing from all of you guys. Let's see, who's in the chat? Who's here in the chat with us? Love, love, love it all. Oh, welcome. Oh, love you guys. Thank you all so much. But yes, feel free to say hello or anything else. Just like, honestly, just like shout out, say hi. Literally one of my favorite things is say hi to everyone. So, perfect. All right, next piece that we have is another Balenciaga piece I actually want to bring out to you guys. This one is from basically one of the original collections. This is called the Balenciaga Velo. So Velo in French means bike. So we call this gris aluminum, but it's not. We'll make sure we update that. This color is Vert Jade, which is one of my favorite colors in general. Hermes has a Vert Jade as well, and it's just spectacular. But this color is beautiful. It's like a sea foamy kind of green color, a little bit of blue undertone to it. Gorgeous, gorgeous gold hardware. It's not the oversized hardware, it's the smaller hardware. This piece is actually from the Spring Summer 2014 collection. Agno lambskin here. So Agno basically is the, the Balenciaga's way of saying lambskin. You have the zip front pocket. Unlike on the city, on the uh, smaller Poitiers we just showed you, you can actually put an iPhone Max in there, which is great. And then the mirror, of course. I love when the mirror just hangs out. It's one of my favorite parts. And then you have this long strap here, which is great because when you're on the bike, you can just throw this on like that, wear it as you're, on, as you're biking or, you know, whatever else you gotta do. <laughs> so a lot of time the city bag you'll see actually doesn't have a super long strap. So this is kind of amazing that we do have the longer strap here. Beautiful piece. You then even, I love the slouchy look to it, very relaxed look. So this is from the city bag collection as well, which first came out around 2001, 2002. Nicholas Gasquier actually created the city collection and the executive team at Blinciaga was like, ah, no, Nikki, we ain't good with that. I doubt they call him Nikki, but I'm going to call him Nikki. He goes, we don't know Nikki. I'm not sure about that. He goes, fine, let me send 2025 20, out to some of my girls, and let's see what they say. So Kate Moss, the Olsen twins, all of them fell in love with it. And now it's been basically a staple, especially here in New York City. I know so many people who come to New York, and like when you get your first job, your first paycheck, you're like, I'm going to buy myself a big girl bag. And nine times out of 10, everyone's going to say it's a city bag. And I love still seeing the city bags around. I actually was in, um, what restaurant was I in the other night? I was in Mamo, which you guys, if you guys are here in Soho, it's where we're located. If you ever need a good Italian recommendation, Mamo, delicious. The Brussels sprouts, so divine. Upstairs is like the most beautiful area. So that is where I would recommend going. If you're ever here in New York City. I just tried to send one of our um, producers there and well, I don't know why he didn't go. Oh, they were too booked up but beautiful, definitely get a reservation. But beautiful piece inside, what was the whole point of Mamo? Oh, I saw two people at Mamo the other night and one had like the calf hair city bag. So I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. And then the other one had a, um, the calf hair and the other one had like a patchwork one. It was just really chic, it was really cool. Anyways, back to this bag, gorgeous interior. There's virtually no wear to that interior here. Zip pocket as well. Beautiful, beautiful piece. This piece is $1,450, but you're saving $435 on it on Amazon.com. Sorry, what goes around NYC.com. You'll see the video in the left hand corner, so just click it. A little cowlick going on, don't I? There we go, fix it. So get there, you're saving $435. 
instantly. So this bag, which was $1,450, saving $435, making it only $1,015. Beautiful piece, right? And I love that slouchy effect. It's just so great. You get the city hardware on it. Such a good bag, guys. And I love when it's just relaxed, just hanging down like that. Stunning. Just so stunning and chic. Oh, I love it. I love bags so much, guys. Who else just loves bags? Oh my God, Rosina. Rosina, kisses. Kisses to you, darling. Hi, cutie. Happy New Year with happiness and healthy. Same to you, darling, Rosina. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas or Hanukkah. I think Kwanzaa is still going on. Whichever one, happy holidays to everyone out there. Oh, love you, Rosina. Kisses to you, darling. Okay. Next piece we have, guys, is actually kind of an interesting, I love the story of this. So I don't know if a lot of you guys know, Burberry was actually called Burberries before. Burberries with an apostrophe S. So a lot of people don't know that, and I always get told like, oh, it's fake. So, you know, and I'm like, no, it's not actually. It's actually, like they're like, that can't be a real bag. Also, bad word, I should not say the F word. It's inauthentic, but no, not true. So Burberry was not Burberry until 1999. It was called Burberry's, apostrophe as Thomas Burberry. He actually founded the company when he was only 21 years old in 1856. Believe it or not, Burberry is one of the oldest houses out there, alongside Louis Vuitton, alongside Hermes. So, insane. And this is a double. This one actually has the Burberry's, apostrophe S there. So we know this is a pre-1999 duffel, which is insane, guys. This is over 23, 24 years in age. And look at that. Beautiful, right? And I love your slip pocket out here. Great for your phone or anything. But guys, if you're looking for a perfect kind of duffel, one that is not, you know, we love our Louis Vuitton key pulse, but you want something that's a little bit different, great way to go. You get the Haymarket check print, which is different from house check. So Haymarket check is still the check, but here you get the night, that night there, which is a big sign of Burberry, which we love. And also fun fact, Burberry is the first luxury brand to go to the Arctic Circle. Crazy, right? Crazy. And look, you can even lock the bag if you want to. Just pop there on the sides, just like that, and easy. You're, all, you're literally all set. So love, love, love this piece. 3,000, sorry, 3,000. <laughs> it was $1,150. You're saving $345. So guys, that is a savings of eight, sorry, savings of $345, making it only $805 for this beautiful piece. $805, and look at the interior. I love the interior of this item because one, it does have a zip pocket. You don't get that in a lot of duffels. But the other thing is, you get all the knights, which I love. I love when you get all the knights on there. It's just so cute and precious. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Once again, this piece, which was $1,150, you're saving $345 on it, making it only $805. They love underscore Jadoffs. I know, pretty, right? It's so pretty, guys. Only $805. Look at this base as well. Perfect, perfect condition on this base. You have five feet, which you rarely get on duffel bags anymore. So this is such a great bag. $805, you guys. Stunning. Stunning. All right. Let's move on to our next item. And guys, feel free to shout out if you want to see anything. If you just want to shout out a brand, I will bring it out for you. Okay, our next piece is actually a little controversial, I know, but it's still a really cool piece and there's so many different uses for it. So this is the Chanel Black Caviar CC Timeless Cigarette Case. So they don't make these anymore for obvious reasons, not many people smoke. It was from 2004, 2005. I had one client, she like literally had like ST DuPont lighters, so many cool things and she literally was like, I had a Mad Men phase. She goes, I was already a smoker, so I had a Mad Men phase. And so she had the Chanel one. She had them in like every color. And I love it. So this is the black one. Love that you get the snap opening to it. And this is great actually for people who are former smokers and like use like jewels and vapes to like kind of wean yourself off. You can put that in here. I've also had clients use this for feminine hygiene products or just any products really. You can also use it as like a little wallet. You're also able to use it as Drum rolled, an Altoids case. <laughs> Not that it says love or like unlimited luxury, like an Altoids Chanel case. This was $598, guys, but you're saving $118, making it only $480. Look, there's virtually no wear to it. I love this piece. 
from 2004 to 2005. Beautiful, right? Absolutely stunning. Yes. We love, love, love this item. Beautiful. Okay. Next piece that I have for you guys, actually one that is no longer in production either, just like the cigarette case. Actually would work really well with the cigarette case. Flexington, first off, I love that name, Flexington. <laughs> I don't know why, I just like fell in love with that name. Love it, right? I love it, guys. I secretly love like cigarette holders, ashtrays. There's just something about it that I'm like obsessed with. So, guys, this is truly a piece no longer in production, so the only place you can get these on the pre-love market. I have no idea why they would ever discontinue this beauty because it is the perfect hold-all bag. This is the Chanel Navy. I wouldn't even really call it navy though. It's like a beautiful like kind of navy-ish blue, but like a different kind of navy. You know what I mean? But beautiful caviar leather quilted grand shopping tote, but this is the biggest size they make. This is the XL size. So, huge, huge, huge. Perfect for travel, for work, for really anything. Look, you have a giant slip pocket back here. It actually would fit an iPad. I actually put an iPad back there. And this actually fits over my shoulder great. I do have shoulder pads on, guys, so ignore that. <laughs> Flexington, oh, you're welcome, Flexington. Heart to you as well. I learned how to do the TikTok heart, guys. Oh, almost. I've almost got it. What is going on? OK, nope, just kidding. I almost had <laughs> it. But this piece gorgeous. Silver hardware on it. CC logo. This is a classic, timeless on growth style. This is from 2012, 2013 era. And the GST, as it's called, or the Grand Shopping Tote, most of the handbag collecting community calls it GST, was discontinued in 2015. So beautiful piece, look at this. And I love, 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 love that gray satin interior there. Beautiful, right? Zip pocket and a zip pocket in the middle. Here, I'm gonna show you real quick. It's stunning. Open this up. There we go. See, and a lot of people are like, well, it doesn't have zippers. It doesn't have like, it's big open. Yes, it is, but you have so many zip pockets. You have another one. That's a slip on this side, but you have another one on this side. And my favorite thing, I think everyone needs this. Every bag should have this, is the key holder. This is for your keys. The amount of times I'm searching for my keys, I literally left my house and I was like, hold on to your keys and don't forget to lock your door. Somehow I still threw it in my bag. I literally had to put my bag on the ground and go through it to lock my door. So this saves that from happening. You can easily just be like, whoop, there we go. Just grab that string and you know it's always gonna be in the right corner. So I love that. This piece, guys, such a great item. This one is $5,350, but you're saving over $1,000. Guys, you're saving $1,070 due to our end of year sale. So this piece is only $4,280, you guys. And let me tell you, when these were discontinued around 2015, I was kind of just entering, I wasn't just entering this industry. I was a couple years in, I think. I was a couple years in. And the crazy part was these were, when they were still in production, were going for around $2,500 to $3,000. Over since then, now they're upwards of between $4,500 to $5,500. So one is a steal that's under $4,500. But that means these are just constantly getting more and more in value. I can't say it's going to continue to rise, but clearly over the past eight years, it's steadily grow, and I think that's beautiful about this piece. And since you can't get them anymore, you definitely want one. If you want one, you're like, oh, I definitely want one in better condition. This is the place to come to. Even like guys, I've worked in the auction houses. I have worked for other platforms and other resale companies, and what goes around and comes around has always been number one for the best condition out there and the rarest items. And I'm not just saying that because I work here now, but because, <laughs> I'm not just saying it, I swear, but I always called them. I always called what goes around, comes around, and be like, hey guys, you wanna put anything cool into one of my auctions? And they're like, no, but we'll buy from your auction. <laughs> so I love them, and guys, they are truly the purveyors of luxury goods, fine luxury goods, for 30 years, guys. We've been in this for 30 years. Actually, 31, come next week, which is amazing, guys. Okay, on to our next piece, guys. Next, I actually have, who else, you have to tell me, who else loves reissues over the CC logo bag, over the classic flaps? I love a classic flap, I love all bags, but personally, this is just, this is something else. Guys, this is the Chanel Paris Salzburg Blue Wool Classic Double Flap in the size 
medium. So Paris of Salzburg, I love, love, love that collection. It's pre-fall 2015. This, beautiful. So now the reissue, which they call the reissue, is actually a 2.55 is what they refer to it as half the time. And that is because it was created in February of 1955. So two and then 0.55 because European, they use uh, the period rather than the common like we do here in America. So that's really interesting and cool. So fun fact about that. And Coco Chanel created it because she was tired of having to hold her bag all the time. Her first bag she actually created was in the 20s, but it wasn't until the 1950s, 1955 exactly, that she created the adjustable chain shoulder strap. Love that goes on. So this is still the original design that we see in a classic double flap bag. I'm trying to see if I have one here. I think I only brought out the reissue, but here, I'm gonna grab a classic double flap bag real quick. I don't even have one. Oh, I'm lying, I do. Guys, I do have one. Yep, I have one right here, but it's the maxi and it's the single flap. Oop, lies. I have a normal one. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna show you the difference real quick. Okay, so this is a classic double flap bag. This is the reissue. So we actually say classic double flap, but it's not, it's a reissue. So we'll update that. So I'm gonna show you there's two different pieces on this exactly. Now the bag's exactly the same in every other aspect, but we have the double flap here, zip pocket here, by the way, this is all in Jersey, guys. Isn't that insane? I love Jersey. Actually, no, this is wool felt, this is felt. Beautiful. So, Coco Chanel first did them in Jersey, but beautiful, look at zip pocket. This is where Coco Chanel kept her love letters from Boy Capel. So if you ever buy one of these for yourself or for a loved one, put a love letter in there. If you're buying it for yourself, put a love letter from yourself, honestly, if you don't have anyone special in your life. My reissue, I have my um, husband's, like the very first love letters he ever wrote me in there, so I love it. So, double flap here as well. Beautiful, you get the CC logo there, which actually she created in like 1925, I believe. Um, oh, ho hello, Holy, it's great to see you. How are you? I'm doing great, how about yourself, darling? Kisses, but beautiful interior. And look, you get, of course, the three classic pockets here. This is where the compact would be, this is where your cash was for your lipstick. It's a beautiful piece. And there was always a slip pocket up front, but this is a limited edition. And what I love is that this is very Paris Salzburg, very Austrian, is that we have the doily with the flowers on it. Beautiful, right? Happy holidays to you too, holy. Happy holidays to everyone. But I love this piece because also you get that green border, which is so nice. But the reissue, this is what they call the Mademoiselle lock now. And then you have the chain here. This is the Mademoiselle chain, which I think is so cool. And this is the chain that she said the nuns, it was inspired by the nuns at her convent where she grew up. And this is where they hung their keys off of. So that's what she was inspired by. Now, the two differences, everything's the same in a classic double flap. The only difference is Karl Lagerfeld, when he joined in 1983, he took the CC logo from the interior and put it as the exterior turn lock. And then he did, well, he did not invent the chain handle. He invented the leather weaving through the chain. So that's the only difference. Other than that, this bag is exactly the same. And then the burgundy lining was inspired by her um, uniforms from the convent. Crazy, right? So this one, guys, is $8,950, but you're saving almost $2,000 off. No joke, $1,790 in savings, you guys. So that makes this piece you're not gonna believe this. Only $7,160. I know, holy. So this one was almost $9,000. You're saving $1,790, making it only $7,160. Incredible price. And guys, Paris Salzburg no longer in production. 2015 piece. You gotta get it from here. You gotta get it. This is no longer in production, guys. So go for it. It's beautiful, right? Absolutely stunting. All right, next we're gonna go for. So, yes, holy, only $8,950, but then you're saving almost 2,000 on it. So it's $7,160 only. Amazing, right? Okay, now the next bag I have for you guys is actually, and anyone who's here, guess what year this is from. You're not gonna believe it. Guess what year this beauty is from here. She's a stunner, she's a track star. She's a runner, she's a track star. 
But this piece, guys, 86 to 88. 1986 to 1988. This bag is almost 40 years in age. Isn't that crazy? And it's satin. So only here what goes around comes around. Are you going to find satin bags in this great of condition? So this is the Chanel Quilted Satin Gripois Mini Barrel Bag. Gorgeous red leather trim. The tassel's still here. Then, of course, you have the 24 karat plated gold hardware throughout it. I love it. I love, love, love it. And then, of course, the Gripois. So Gripois, guys, such cool story. So Augustine Gripois, in around 1850, he was basically the father of poured glass. Like, he's the perfected it. And he made it into wearable jewelry. Coco Chanel fell in love with it. And, of course, they decided to continue on with it. Victoire de Castellan has used it. Karl Lagerfeld used it. And, of course, we still see Gripois inspire things to this day. And I love this piece. So you get that royal kind of purple, the royal blue, green, red, all throughout that ruby red. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Look, you get the cute little shoulder strap on it. I think this bag is so adorable. I am obsessed with it. And then open it up. It is so chic. It even comes with, which is crazy, the authenticity card. The sticker's still intact too. Beautiful red leather lining. Slip pocket with a satin lining there. But beautiful, guys. This piece, which was $2,500, you're saving $500 off on it. Just head over to whatgoesaroundnyc.com, making this piece only $2,000. Incredible price, right? It's a steal, an absolute steal. Love, love, love this piece. Guys, it's so cute. What I love is that you can also use it as a clutch. All you have to do is throw the chain down in here, and then easily and simply becomes a clutch. And I love that about it. Like, look, so cute, so easy to use, so simple. Oh, it still smells so good. That's another thing here, what goes around comes around. We do not smell, smell. We do not sell things that smell pre-owned. You know what smell I'm talking about. It's that mothball smell. Fun fact, that's what it is, actually. Everyone's like, what is that smell? It kind of smells older. A lot of people like to refer to it as like a grandmother's closet or something like an old closet. It's actually mothballs because, you know, humidity, things like that, and moths, clearly. So that's where that smell comes from. And a good trick to get rid of it is dryer sheets. Downy, Febreze dryer sheets. Put, I'm not kidding, put a bunch of them in there and let it sit in there for like a week. It won't take it fully away, but it will enhance that smell greatly. And if you just keep doing it every like now and then, eventually the smell will fully dissipate. Okay, guys, this one's really good. I am obsessed with this piece. This is the Chanel gold. It's like almost a bronzy gold lambskin diagonal camera bag in the size medium. This is a 91 to 94 era production. It was $5,950, but you're saving $1,190, the savings of almost $1,200, guys. So this piece is only $4,760. They don't make them like this anymore. 24 karat plated gold, which we can see by the insignia right here that tells us that. This is actually a CC turn lock that opens up the flap. Isn't that amazing? Beautiful, just minor creasing, slip pocket in there, black satin. Ooh, I lied, it's a brown satin. It looked black when I looked down to it. Brown satin. Ooh, and it's like almost like a royal brown. I don't know if that's a real thing, but beautiful. Dylan, you're 100% right. This is luxury. Luxury with a capital L U X U R Y, luxury. So love this piece. And something you can tell sign of great craftsmanship and authenticity. See how all the quilting lines up? when it lays down. Isn't that incredible? It's perfect. It's basically like the whole point of this, and I love this piece. Wow. They did a really good job with that. So I was just looking like closer. I just love looking at this. But it's amazing. And then the interior, which is this beautiful, beautiful brown leather. Wait till we get to the shoulder strap. Beautiful brown leather in there. Zip pocket and a slip pocket as well. You get the CC gold ball with the Bijou hardware here. So Bijou Hardware is no longer in production. They've came out with like a similar version of it, but it's not as detailed. Look at this chain. Guys, this is Bijou Hardware. It's where the chain actually has quilting etched into it. Isn't that insane? 
Usually we also will see the CC logo here with that quilting on it as well, but this time they only did it with the bijou. Sometimes that's what they do, sometimes it's all quilted, but not all the time, but I love it. And it's just so elegant and beautiful. And guys, finding metallic, this guy is over 30 years in age, finding metallic in this condition, impossible. Only here what goes around comes around. Are you gonna find this great of condition? It's amazing, right? Oh, it smells so good. You can still, it smells like the vintage Chanel leather. Oh, I love smelling the bag. It's like my favorite thing. Also, let's just listen to this chain in my hand. Everybody, ready? Shh, shh, shh. You hear that? Doesn't that just sound beautiful? Such a beautiful, beautiful sound. I love it. Okay, guys. Once again, this piece, which was $5,950, you are saving $1,190, making this only $4,760 for this beautiful piece. Stunning. Now, you saw a medium camera bag. Let me show you the biggest camera bag you'll ever see from Chanel. Swear, it's humongous. I personally kind of want this, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, look at this giant camera bag, guys. This is the Chanel Black Quilted Caviar CC camera bag in the size XL. And of course, you get a slip pocket in the back here. It's the envelope camera bag, too. So you get the CC turn lock. This is, of course, a 94 to 96 era. Most of the time, you know that the big CC logo, with little fingerprints on it, my bad. But with the big CC logo, you actually, fun fact, that's most of the time 94 and 96. They don't make that anymore. Great way to fix any fingerprints on your hardware is just use a microfiber cloth, nothing on it, make sure it's dry, and just go like this on your hardware. All right, zoom back in, let's see this now. Beautiful, see, much, much better. All right, I didn't do a great job, but I did much better. <laughs> but beautiful piece, you guys. Love, love, love. Look at this over the shoulder. This is a great travel bag, great work bag. This is huge. It's humongous, guys. And once again, I'm six foot five, and it's big bag fall, guys. Big bag fall. That's what we're here for. Slip pocket in the back, easy to fit an iPad. This does fit, I tested my MacBook in it. It fits my MacBook Pro, which I think is a 13 inch or something like that. Perfectly in there. Opening this up, let's lay this down. Beautiful black lambskin interior, two zip pockets. Oh, yeah, one zip pocket, one slip pocket. Guys, sometimes that camera, like, yeah, I know it does like, it's like mirroring me, so I'm like, oh, wait, wait, maybe there's two. But beautiful, right? I love it. Then you even get, which is my favorite part, that zipper medallion here, the gold zipper medallion. Beautiful piece, right? Stunning. $5,950, but guys, you're saving $1,190 on it. This is only $4,760. Incredible, right? And it's actually not that heavy. Fantastic size. Look at the base. There's no corner wear, anything like that on this bag at all. Beautiful. And then, of course, you get that quilted ball, that little bijou aesthetic right there. So we love, love, love that. This piece, once again, $5,950. Smells delicious. <laughs> Saving $1,190, guys. Only $4,760 on this piece. Amazing, right? Amazing. OK, I'm going to show you another bag. This one is not on sale, guys, but we do have our bounce back, actually, which is happening still. So I'm going to tell you about that once I find I have to remember what the bounce back is, guys. I always forget, because it's so good. But I have my little trusty thing here that's gonna tell me everything. So we call it the gift that goes around. How cute is that, right? Okay, guys, wait. Do I need this? You guys know I'm not a huge logo fan person. Like, I'm a very big minimalist. I, I love the logos, I appreciate them. I'm just such a huge personality that like, that like me wearing a bunch of logos, it's too much. Like I become too much. I'm just too much of a human being. <laughs> so, okay. This next piece, guys, not on sale, but you get the bounce back with it. And by the way, even with all the sale pieces, guys, you get bounce back as well. 
So here we have this bag with the best history behind it. This is the Christian Dior Lady Dior mini gray studded bag. I love this from 2017. Beautiful, beautiful piece. So now, the gift that goes around, as we call it, or our bounce back, the kickback. So this piece is $4,950. So when you spend $4,950, you get a $500 e-gift card that we're going to issue to you on the 16th and you have three months to use it, which is amazing. So you're gonna automatically $500 gift cards. So you're basically saving $500 on this piece. By the way, I rather pay full price and get a gift card because then I have to convince my husband, well, I got a gift card to the place, so I gotta go buy something else now. <laughs> so I rather do that than a discount. So this piece, the Lady Dior actually has one of the best histories out there. It was named after the one, the only, Princess Diana. She was actually Lady Diana Spencer before she became the Princess of Wales. So when this bag was gifted to her in the early 90s by the First Lady of France, she carried it all the time. She loved it. So when it finally released, they called it the Lady Dior bag, and it actually sold over 200,000 units within its first like, year, I think, or the first month or two months, something crazy like that. Still the most highest grossing and selling handbag when first released. Crazy, right? So it's a classic we still have today. And then, of course, we have the Dior elements to it. Like the charm here, this was inspired by good old Christian Dior himself. This was his lucky charm. Him, Coco Chanel, Karl Lagerfeld, they were all very superstitious people, so they kept lucky charms with them all the time. The studding actually works as the cannage quilting, and that cannage quilting was inspired by Napoleonic chairs, and that's what I love about it. You then also get the antique gold hardware, giant oversized strap here. Beautiful, right? I love that they did this big strap. There's just something about it. And then when you hold it just a little bit like that, I think it's so adorable and so cute. Love this piece. Four feet on the base as well. Stunning, right? Beautiful. And look at that, virtually nowhere, you guys. And then when Maria Grazia Chiari took over, she actually started really making the top instead of zips. She made it basically a flap like that. Beautiful suede lining as well. Love, love, love it. Zip pocket. It comes with the authenticity card as well. Beautiful. And then you get a slip pocket here. Love a suede lining, no wear to it. And I love this is very soft, soft leather. You get the original Dior flat, uh, dust bag with it, so it's great. Prod Test Influencer 13, thank you so much for the follow. Guys, if you want to be like Prod Test Influencer 13, head over to Amazon.com slash what goes around comes around to hit that follow button. Never miss out on the show. Miss out on me. Card and Grimes 9, love it, Queen. I almost said a bad word. That's right, Queen, we do love it. It's so cute, it's such a cute bag. I love a mini bag. I'm ginormous, so like mini bags look ridiculous on me, but like I'm into it. My husband's like, you can't carry that. And I'm like, <laughs> I, guys, I literally think I'm the size of an Olsen twin. I, I literally do. I think I'm so tiny and dainty. But guess what, I am learning very quickly, I am not. It's funny, my husband, like. I always put on his diamonds, thinking I look like Audrey Hepburn, and I go into the bathroom, and then I turn on the lights, and like, I don't. <laughs> I try, I try, right? Okay, guys, next I have a couple Fendi bags that are actually so adorable. This is my favorite Fendi, and I don't know how it hasn't sold yet, guys. So someone needs to buy this because it is on such great sale. Where'd she go? Oh, I literally put her in my drawer. Because <laughs> she's that tiny and cute. Look at this. Isn't this adorable, you guys? This is a Fendi Black Zucchino Canvas handbag. Beautiful gold hardware on it as well. $798, but guys, you're saving $158 on it, making it only $640. Guys, I've never seen a Fendi bag like this. We also have the mini tote version in this, but look at this, so cool, right? Now this is functional, but it is a snap. So you have the magnetic closure here. This, you can move it in and out but it's just decoration. But the coolest part is, once we zoom in, I'll show you this. Look at this leather here. Look at that leather, beautiful, right? And then a little Fendi charm. This leather's actually in there. These are just holding it on the back too. Virtually nowhere, the leather is so supple and a beautiful pebble. I love it, black Zucchino. So by the way, the Zucchino, the FF logo, first was created in 1965 by Karl Lagerfeld. It stood for fun fur, sorry, took me a second. <laughs> But I had to call it um, 
fun Fendi now. Or as Janice, we had a TikTok show last night, Janice Gooding, she's our digital marketing manager, was here with us last night. We've been trying to beg her to be on the show. She's hilarious. We had a great time. So don't forget to follow us on TikTok at what goes around NYC. But she calls it first and finest. And I'm like, ah, oh, really? I literally like stopped in my tracks. I was like, that is brilliant. So $798, you guys, you're saving $158 on it making it only $640. Remember guys, head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around or what goes around nyc.com to get this price. You'll see me in the corner basically over there. Click on that video. I'll pop up and all the bags will on my side as well. Okay, let's go inside this bag to show you. It's so cute and beautiful. Comes with a Fendi dust bag, believe it or not, and a what goes around comes around dust bag. Complimentary with every order. Beautiful interior, you guys. There's virtually nowhere to this gorgeous, brown canvas interior. Here's the code here, zip pocket. You even get the Fendi plaque there as well. Beautiful piece. This is so cute to just trot around with. I love it. It's kind of minimalistic almost too. Like from far away, you would have no idea. And so I'm like, if you know, you know. And just like Dylan said, guys, it's as simple as add to cart. So head over to whatgoesaroundnyc.com to get this price and Amazon as well, amazon.com slash what goes around comes around. This piece, once again, guys, was $798, but you're saving $158 off for our end of year blowout sale. So this is only $640. No corner wear. There's no corner wear on this piece, you guys. Nada, nothing, zip. So, ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> Wait, I've been, I've been working on my, that's right. Oh, I almost got it. I'm gonna get it eventually, but I like to do the, oh, it's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> I love a Cardi B moment. Okay guys, next Fendi bag I'm bringing out. I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water while you guys look at this. This is beautiful. This is the chef's tote. And by the way guys, that is not where there's actually still plastic on that hardware. Okay guys, I am back. This is my fi favorite Fendi line of bags. This is called the Chef Bag. So this is the Fendi Red Chef Pocket Tote in the size small. The Chef Tote first came out in the early 2000s. So as I showed you Zucchino, that is a smaller FF print. This is Zucca, which is the larger FF print. Gorgeous gold hardware on it as well. You get the leather trim throughout it. Beautiful slip pocket up front. You even get, look at that lining, and get the little Fendi in the lining too. Beautiful, and I love that they did. Like I said, there's plastic on this. Hold on, there we go. Come on, get in there. Perfect, all right, so it's in there now. But I love this because look, you even get this gathering up here, which is so beautiful. The interior of the bag is that same beautiful brown, kind of brownish gray lining zip pocket, Fendi logo, and it has the code underneath. You get the square magnetic clasp. These square magnetic clasps are actually a great sign of authenticity. Fendi basically only uses square magnetic clasps. It's not always, it is, like, there's always square magnetic clasps, but there are exceptions to that rule, of course. So about 99.9999% of them have them. Then you have this beautiful, beautiful strap here. I love how they did the strap. You can easily throw it over your shoulder. It's not faint over mine because I have giant shoulder pads on because I love a shoulder pad, live for a shoulder pad moment. And then of course, beautiful toe. So it fits over your shoulder. I love the base on this piece. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. Virtually nowhere to it. There's a little dust on it. I apologize. That's probably from us there, but easy to clean off. I can easily clean that off. Oh, and by the way, how do you get dust off? Great question, actually. <laughs> No one asks, but I'm gonna tell you. Dust is inevitable, guys, even in your closet. You have to wipe down your closet sometimes. We forget, but that's okay. So you put your bag down, a wet paper towel, wet paper towel, and just gently, gently go over it like this. And it's gonna look a little wet for a minute, and that's fine. I'm talking about just canvas, by the way, guys. Let it sit, but don't put soap, anything, or any of the leather cleaners because it will damage that canvas and stain it. So just use water and make sure it's just damp 
and really wring it out, but then just make sure you just glide it over and that dust will go away instantly. All right, guys, this piece was $1,250. You're saving $375 on it, making it only $875. Guys, this is no longer in production. Only place you can get it is the pre-loved market. And where else are you gonna find it in this graded condition except for here? What goes around comes around, am I right? Okay, guys, this piece, one, I can't believe the discount on it. Two, I can't believe it's an exotic that you're getting this much of a discount on. I don't think I've ever seen an exotic this low. So just get ready for it. So I'm just saying, someone may rush a cart. Have your credit card ready. If you don't have it saved to Google Pay yet, save it there. And if you don't use Chrome, what are you doing? I used to use Safari all the time, and I've changed to Chrome on my phone. Life changing. OK, because it saves all like my stuff. Anyways, all right, so I'm not going to go back to that. All right. But this piece, I get derailed all the time. This is a Python bag. Not only a Python bag, this is a Fendi Brown Python B bag. Who remembers the B bag? I love this bag. This bag first came out in 2006, was designed by Sylvia Venturioni Fendi, and of course, Karl Lagerfeld. It's inspired by the big B belt they used to have, the big buckle. So that's where these buckles came from. I love, love, love these like little Fendi Parts right here, love this. It does, of course, open up. It's beautiful, right? You get this clasp here. Let's say Fendi, and then look at this leather, guys. Look at this. There is nowhere to that leather whatsoever. Small mark here, and that is basically from this. And that's not even like a, that's not even a mark. Okay, I take it back. It's not a mark. It's basically this part up here, which is keeping the the strap up, stitched in there. It's the opposite side of it. So that's more basically why. I know, Ben Potter, wow, right? Ben, Veronica Welch, thank you for the follow. Ben, I know, crazy. And guys, the price is even crazier, $1,950, but you're saving $585, guys. So this piece is only $1,365. Isn't that incredible? $1,365, you guys, for a Python B bag, basically in perfect condition. Look at this hardware, the acrylic turquoise, Mwah, chef's kiss. Beautiful base, look at that. Virtually nowhere. Incredible, impossible. That's all I think, what's that song? Impossible. I wish I could sing, guys, I really do. <laughs> okay, look at this interior. Gorgeous, gorgeous canvas interior, slip pocket as well. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. I know, she is everything, guys. And only $1,365. I mean, that's insane, guys. Beautiful. And look, you get this pleating back here. So these are all box pleats. So they fall and drape beautifully. Actually, a lot, gives it a lot of depth to the bag. But this bag, guys, insane. And there's no wear to the opposite side. $1,365. It was $1,950, but you're saving almost $600 on this piece, you guys. Absolutely insane. I mean, I just can't get over it. And, oh, it smells good too. I love it. It smells so good. Beautiful. This place is just a gorgeous piece. Oop, got, hold on. Got the dust pack caught in my jacket. You guys like my jacket, by the way, guys? It's vintage. I feel like a Bond villain. <laughs> Swear to God, every Bond villain, every Bond villain wears a Mandarin collar. All of them do. And I'm so into it. I love it. And this is actually, the brand is called Jean Yves Paris. But I found this vintage shopping and it fit me perfectly. Stunning, right? <laughs> My model look. There you go. All right, guys. $1,365. It's beautiful, right? Stunning. Okay. Let's move on to our next bag. The next piece I have for you guys is actually, I've been wanting to bring this bag out for so long and for some reason just never got the chance. Not because like I didn't want to, but because like so many other bags kind of took precedent over it. But now here she is and she's a mini bag too, guys. Isn't this insane? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Guys, this is just a classic Gucci Brown original GG Canvas Boston bag. And what I love about it is it's the small version. 
It's not super mini, but it's not super small either. So I love, love, love this piece. So fabulous. And you're probably like, Mason, but where's the shoulder strap? I'll show you here in a second. But it's so cute. Boston bags, actually, how cool is this? They originated from basically in Parliament over in England. The Boston bag was the bag that had like all the official documentation. And before like America was America and the British still owned the colonies in Boston, Massachusetts, um, they, they still use that in Boston mainly. So that's what was called the Boston bag. So beautiful. And look, instead of the green and red striping, you actually get multiple colors in here. So you have a dark, this is almost like a purplish brown in a way. And you have this brown with the white. Then it's called the webbing. So the web strap was actually what went under the horse's stomach to keep the horses, the saddle back from the horse in English equestrianism. Interesting, right? Beautiful piece. The GG logo, that stands for Gucci O Gucci, who founded Gucci. Stunning interior, shoulder strap, we'll get there in a second. A beautiful interior, look at that, virtually no wear. Minor, minor marks, like, but the faintest. Like I can't even, you can't even really see them. Stunning zip pocket here with no wear and two slip pockets on the opposite side. And that, that little thing down there, that's that black thing, that's a Gucci tag. Now you see these small little marks holes here on the heart, that's where the shoulder strap goes. So we're gonna take the shoulder strap, pop it there, and then we're gonna, oh, there we go. And pop the other one on the other side so it counterbalances it. I like that they did this rather than on the sides because look how cute it is. Ah! And I love that it's a shoulder strap. Adorable, right? Absolutely adorable. And guys, this piece was $12.95, but you are saving $260 on this piece. This piece is only $1,035. Remember guys, to get that price, head over to whatgoesaroundnyc.com. They, are these also on Amazon? Let me see if the price over here on Amazon. No guys, so this price is not on Amazon currently. So, one, apologies for that. We are going, we are working guys in the new year where every time we do deals, even super savings, and if we're ever doing like Amazon promotions, we're going to ensure that we have everything, all prices across the same platform, so you guys don't have to switch back and forth. But, for this time, I apologize, but gojohnnyc.com, you're saving that $260, so it's only $1,035. We got Derek and Markeisha, thank you so much for the follow. Ben, thank you for the follow, and for your comments as well. Immigrant underscore nation, lovely. I know, right, isn't this gorgeous? Gorgeous. So, $12.95, guys, but you're saving $260. Now, the only place to get that price is hanging over to whatgoesaroundnyc.com. And once you get there, guys, don't worry, you'll see me in the corner. You'll see a little video of me in the corner. Just click that, I'll pop up, bada bing, bada boom, and so will the products, and so will the discount. And it automatically happens in car. You don't have to do anything, except for go to the website. So, $1,035 for this beautiful, beautiful piece. Stunning, right? Okay, next piece. I'm really excited to talk to you guys about this piece, actually. This one's really, really good. So, hold on, hold on. Hold on, sorry. Make sure she looks good. You know, gotta make sure you put them back perfectly. By the way, stuffing your bags is the best way to go because that is how you will ensure your bag stays in great condition. Okay, guys, this one you're going to literally die over. There's so much history in this bag, so much going on in this bag too, and I love it. Okay, all right, here we have here, guys, this beautiful girl. We'll raise her up a little bit. There we go. Give her a nice little boot. Perfect. Perfect, all right, spin, darling, spin. Guys, this is the Gucci Original GG Canvas Crystal Canvas, which means it just has a sheen over it. Babushka Indie Hobo Bag in the size large. Stunning, right? So this is from the Spring Summer 2009 collection, and it was designed by Frida Gianni. And actually, one of the interesting parts is, is these charms. So I love these charms. When we zoom in, we'll show you more of them. I'm gonna have to get a little lower so you can make sure you can see it on the zoom in. But this piece, as you can see here, this is the best one I'll show you when we do it. There we go, okay. See that, that knight there? So basically when Gucci Gucci passed away in the 1950s, his son replaced the brand's logo basically for a short time 
with a picture of this knight, basically standing with a shield. The knight also has basically like a set of Gucci luggage in there. And we have it all throughout this amazing thing. There's roses, there's flowers, it's beautiful. So Frida Gianni dove into the archives, found it, and then decided to reuse it. Now that logo obviously didn't last, we don't have it today. A few years later, they changed it to the GG interlocking, not oh, interlocking, the mirroring GGs that we see here today. And I love the fringe, very indie. The studding, I love the large rounded gold studdings and the flat studding there as well. This piece, brown leather trim, $2,340, but guys, you're saving $1,090. So it's only $1,250 for this piece of history right here. The shoulder strap does come off if you need it to. I mean, why take it off though? It's so fab. Beautiful piece. And guys, I actually finally Googled what does babushka mean? Because I always say I'm a babushka, especially when I am basically, here, I'm pulling up. I have actually this definition for you guys because I was like, is this like actually offensive? Like it's an offensive word and I've been saying it this entire time and like, should I be canceled for it? And guess what? No, it's okay. So from the Merriam-Webster dictionary, it has two definitions. And now you'll understand why I'm definitely a babushka. One, an older Russian woman or grandmother. Two, this is me. Not the older Russian woman. I'm not an old R Russian woman. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> but there's always change. There's, I mean, I can manifest that. But number two, a uh, kerchief or scarf worn on the head by a woman or a girl tied under their chin. I literally say I go babushka mode when I have too many martinis and I basically put the scarf over my head and tie it like a babushka. So that's literally it means to tie a scarf around your head. That's babushka in, babushka in. I love it. So $2,340. It is a savings of $1,090, guys. So head over to what goes around NYC to get this. And $1,250 is how much you're paying for it. Guys, this piece is basically 50% off. Insane. Insanity. That's why I said not everything is like up to 40. There are some things over 40, which is insane. Beautiful, right? And just when you think it's done, just when you think, Mason, there can't be any more fun in this bag, <laughs> that is where you are wrong. Look at this. Look at that fun plaid interior. Just in case you're like, I want to be so much more, so much more, this is it. Pamela Jules Sullivan, long live babushka. 110%, guys. Who else is babushka? I'm 1,000% babushka after a few cocktails and I have a scarf, that thing's going around my head, big sunglasses, so no one can see me. Babushka, long live the babushka. I love this piece, it's really good. And only $1,250, done. Guys, click add to cart, it's all yours. Okay, next piece is also a piece that was reimagined from 1955 for Gucci. Did you hear all that jangling? I love it. I live for it. Okay. We're gonna put you back over here. Uh-oh, I made that too tall. Guys, take a look at her why I am fixing this. But this, guys, this bag was originally from 1955. Alessandro Michele, he actually re-basically interpreted this bag and brought it back for us. Thank you, Mr. Alessandro Michele. So, okay, there we go. There we go. All right, so this piece, is stunning. She's beautiful, right? We know. It's amazing. But this is the 1955 canvas horse bit handbag in the size mini. So it's a classic top handle with this horse bit. And I love it because easy class right there, virtually nowhere. If you're looking for a simple, like almost very like top handle Kelly style, this is the way to go. Look at that interior. Nowhere. Alcantara lining. I love a little slip pocket in the middle. Great to hide like ID or something. But look at this, you get two different shoulder straps. You can just wear one or wear the other. I like to put both on there because I'm like, you know, I'm just extra with all of that. But interesting enough, you guys, the horse bit, I was wondering about it. I'm like, where did the horse bit come from? Obviously a horse bit is that little side for the horse's like rings, rings, whatever it is. But so the horse bit actually was created in 1953 for Gucci and they did it in honor their sons, Adolfo, Rodolfo and Bosco. They um, basically like ran Gucci. After their father died, Guccio, he, they knew his love for equestrianism, so that was their, like, paying homage to him. But something even more interesting is, this is what the vintage hardware used to look like. Hermes did it, and even Gucci, look at that. 
It was too expensive to produce. That's why they kind of stopped. But I love Allison Jimmy Kelly brought it back. I honestly, this hardware or none, <laughs> I am all for it. And look, even up here, guys, the horse bit continues as a place for where you would actually put the shoulder strap. Look at that. On both sides of it. Insane, right? Beautiful piece. Gorgeous base. Five feet on the base. Virtually no wear. It's amazing. Fabulous, right? $3,000, guys, I know. But guess what? You get that kickback. So you're going to get a $500 gift card. So really, it's only $2,500. Ben Potter, how do you know all this stuff? So cool. Oh, thank you, Ben. So guys, I am a handbag historian. No joke, that's literally my title here. I love handbags. I live for handbags. Handbags are my raison d'etre. Is that how you say it? <laughs> but I love them, Ben. Ben, they are my favorite thing in the world. And I truly believe, guys, there's obviously we know these bags are beautiful. We know they're pretty. But why are we willing to spend $3,000 and get a $500 gift card <laughs> on these bags? It is because of the history, in my opinion. Everything about this bag is so historic in history. And all these bags, they are always something, even if the bag doesn't really have a name, Chanel didn't always give names, but a lot of them did. So even if there's something, there's always going to be something that identifies and ties back to the brand's history, to someone. Most of the bags have names behind them. So Princess Diana, she actually probably has the most bags named after her. And then it was Kate Moss, I think it's the second. So pretty cool, right? Pretty amazing. So that's what I love about it. But yes, I am just a nerd, Ben. And literally, in my spare time, I literally just read about handbags. That's all I do. I'm literally a psycho. So I'm a scholar. I'm a handbag scholar. Honestly, the day they make a handbag class, Professor Mason here. And actually, it's funny because I actually have two kind of styles, Ben. I either am like super minimalist like this, or I'm like a nerd professor looking. So I'm just manifesting that I want to be a professor one day of handbags. OK, and who agrees? Who thinks we should call? By the way, we're doing product knowledge videos. So we're doing videos of like basically really cool things, like the history of all the bags. Like we do the Neverfull. We'll do some different ones as well. But who thinks it'd be really cool if we called it the Handbag University? Give me a thumbs up. Give me like hearts if you guys are down for Handbag University. It's basically a place where you guys get to go. You guys can watch all the videos and history and knowledge on it with me in it. <laughs> oh, Ben, thank you, Ben. I love it too. I absolutely love it. OK, guys, this is our next bag. This is the Gucci Pink Original Gigi Canvas Marmont shoulder bag in a size small. So this is from the Spring Summer 2021 collection. And this was inspired by like the 30s and the 70s, kind of color blocking. They did like reds, they did blues with this, really cool. And the Marmont bag was created by Alessandro Michele in 2015 or 16, I believe. But Alessandro Michele created it. And he was inspired by literally one of my favorite hotels. They've had a little bit of backlash, but you know, I love the hotel, I don't love the owners of it right now. Just saying that. Chateau Marmont, love Chateau Marmont. And that's why this bag is called the Marmont. So Chateau Marmont, there's actually a really good book on it called uh, The Castle on the Hill. You guys should definitely read it. It's about the whole history of it. And Chateau Marmont is understated elegance. And that's what Alessandro Michele wanted to create. He wanted to create understated elegance in a Gucci bag. And something he did is interesting. When he first got there, this Gigi logo here, how it's going the same way, is somehow very modern. It looks more minimalistic. But that was the first thing he did when he got there. So it's gorgeous. It's like pink elegance. Love it, love it, love it. And guys, oh my god, and I'm so sorry. I totally, or sorry, chats move too fast. But um, Pamela June Sullivan, love Handbag U. OK, guys, Handbag University it is. We're all for it. So this is, like I said, the Gucci Original Gigi Canvas Marmol Shorter Bag. 1895, 1895. This collection is no longer in production. I love it has the diagonal quilting to it. It's navy, actually, like a dark, dark, like ocean blue navy. $380 in savings, making this only $1,515. Remember, guys, right now, those prices aren't on Amazon. I think a few are, but not all of them. If you do want to get this discount price, head over to whatgoesaroundnyc.com. In the new year, we are certainly working on making it so that you guys can have these prices everywhere. No matter when we do the sales, it's going to be across all platforms. OK, beautiful piece. Oh, let me show you. I didn't even show you the bag. <laughs> Look at this interior, gorgeous. Navy interior. It's a little bit of creasing that's also like in the leather. The leather is more of a creased leather in general. Shoulder strap here. I like to call this like the Chanel 
the, the Gucci's version of a Chanel flat bag. So also, if you want a Chanel flat bag, but you're not, maybe you're just not in a place yet, you know, to get up to spending eight, nine thousand dollars on a flat bag, go for this. This can be your gateway bag. I actually, I mean, everyone's had a gateway bag. I wish I was Burke with a Birkin in my hand, but I wasn't. I had to work up to it. <laughs> so, of course, we all start out with Coach, Junie, and Burke. Love them. Coach, actually, Coach is killing it. They really are. But we love all those brands. And then you work your way up. And then Saint Laurent, Gucci, you've had all those. I still have some of those. And eventually you can get up to your Burke and your Chanel flat bag. Or you can just love this. And this is your, maybe this is your holy grail. And that's what we're here to bring to you. And you get this beautiful, I love this. We love a, we love a chain strap. Oh my God, Hot Stuff by Kimberly. Hello, my darling. Kisses to you. Host Stuff by Kimberly, let me tell you. I never called you. <laughs> I need to call you. I promise. After the holidays, I know I've been saying this for like two months. After the holidays, we are going to chat, Hot Stuff by Kimberly. I swear to God, we're going to chat. All right? Oops, sorry to mean to like use the Lord's name in vain on the show. Forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me, handbag gods. <laughs> Those are the only gods I pray to, the handbag gods. <laughs> but guys, once again, $1,895. You're going to save. $380 on it, making it only $1,515. All right, so my Kimberly, we need to talk. Yes, we do, and we will. Swear to God, we will. All right, I'm just gonna, yes, we're gonna, I'm gonna DM you right after this, or DM me, DM me right now, host up by Kimberly, so I won't forget. <laughs> Love you too, mwah. <laughs> so, gorgeous piece, $1,515, guys. Now, next I have a piece, actually, and I actually spoke wrong the other day, I thought, they discontinued Gucci watches. They didn't. They did discontinue Burberry watches. That's what I was getting that from. So if you heard me say that, I apologize. <sighs> even the handbag, human histori handbag historian is even human, guys. I know it's so sad to just think of, but I guess it's true. Where'd I put it? Where'd I put the watch? <laughs> I'm about to show you a Gucci watch. And now, guys, I have so many drawers just full of luxury goods. I literally have, I have, 10 drawers back here, and they're all just full of good stuff. Okay, this is the piece I want to show you. This is a Gucci black and stainless steel dive watch. It actually goes up to 100 meters, 100 feet. Yeah, meters, 300 feet. Beautiful, right? This is once again, like that gateway. If you want something that's like a Rolex Submariner, but it may not be, you just want something slightly different, or you want a starter watch, this is a great way to go. And guys, it was only $700 and now it's on promotion for $140, making it only $560. I do believe it's a 42 millimeter. You even get the twisting dial. Beautiful, right? And guys, I have a huge wrist. I'm six foot five, and it actually fits me pretty well. Let me take off my watch. By the way, you guys like my watch? This is a 1972 Omega. I have an obsession with Omega because of James Bond. That's literally the only reason why. But, <laughs> and I still think it's beautiful. But beautiful, right? Okay, and look, it's butterfly clasp. It's Swiss made, crystal face, sapphire crystal face. These are all actually Swiss made, believe it or not. This is, has a date, a date box on it as well. Butterfly clasp, but look, it even fits me. It actually fits me pretty well too. Like, I don't feel like it's too tight or anything. So you can always get links removed. Any of your watch people can do it. I actually know how to remove links. Fun fact, I just like learned it one day. <laughs> I also know how to savor a bottle of champagne. I'm gonna do that on like, <gasps> we're gonna do that on the first show back. But actually, fun fact, Gucci first started watches in 1997. They've been doing it ever since. They're created by the Gucci group. So um, a lot of like, uh, are created by the Gucci watch company, I believe. But I do believe, time to shine. Oh my God, Dylan, that's really good. Time to shine. But interesting because a lot of, Fossil makes a lot of watch brands and actually Gucci makes their own. So that's actually kind of cool. So, started in 1997, beautiful piece. Now I was just Googling um, Gucci watches, like brand new ones, they're beautiful. I kind of want one now. You know what I really want? The Ralph Lauren like bear watch. Anyways, here's one of him skiing, I need it. But um, off track, but they're like $2,000, which still a fine entry level price for watches, but 560, $560 guys. It's battery operated and there's still plastic on the back here. So great condition. There are no, double checking. 
I don't see any scratches to the face of the watch. If there are, they're very, very faint hairline to the point you can't even notice. Like my watch is scratched, she beat. But this is not. So, beautiful, beautiful piece. Only $560, it was $700, guys, but you're saving $140 off on it. Okay, now I'm gonna bring out two bags. These are from the same collection. Ooh, too tight. <laughs> I like my watch to be a little loose. I actually wear my watch a lot of the times like this. Who else does that? I don't know why, it's just like she can just go like that, but I kind of stop because I keep banging it, so I just don't want to like, you know, hurt anything. Okay, but I'm gonna bring out these two next bags, guys. These are actually, you're gonna be obsessed when I bring them out. Hold on. Okay. Okay, we're back. We're back with it, yeah, yeah. All right, and these are actually on like super sale too. Oh my God. Are they on super sale? They're not on super sale. One's on super sale. The other one's not on sale, but it's already priced so well. Okay, guys, believe it or not, before Takashi Murakami happened in 2003 and in 2001, there was, of course, Steven Sprouse, Spring Summer 2001. There was another artist in 2002 who shined bright. He was an American artist. Um, actually, Steven Sprouse is American too. A lot of American artists actually under uh, Louis Vuitton, Marc Jacobs, Richard Prince, yeah, a lot. But okay, this is Robert Wilson. Robert Wilson, not only an artist, but he did so much other work. These are both from 2002. This is the Louis Vuitton Fluo Orange Monogram Vernis Reed bag, and then this is the Lexington Pochette. So almost like a Pochette accessoire, but I'll show you a little bit different. So basically, it was an early noughties, I like when I say noughties, so early 2000s collaboration with the American artist, Robert Wilson. Very sad, actually, he passed away in August 2020, and he was an abstract artist and painter. So instead of like buying one of his artworks for hundreds of thousand dollars, you could have one of his bags, a wearable piece of artwork, for less than $2,000. I'm gonna tell you right now here in a second. But basically, Robert Wilson, he was commissioned by Louis Vuitton to not only create handbags, he only created a very limited series of handbags, but actually the main thing he was hired to do was to design 300 different Louis Vuitton storefronts. And they looked like this. There also is a green version of this bag as well. It's so cool, but I love it. It's like a laser light show from the 80s. Very 80s-like. So, let's start with the Reed. So this is the Reed PM, and I love it. Look at that Vachetta trim. Virtually nowhere to that Vachetta trim. You get the patent leather that's going through in the pink, and then this monogram barony here, that patent, and I love it because you barely see it, and all of a sudden, bam, there it is, bam. Love it, beautiful base. Now the base does have a little bit of wear here and there. This is, could easily be removed. No joke, I bet I could get it out, swear to you. So, beautiful item. The interior of the bag is also that neon orange, but in the canvas lining, you get a slip pocket. And then look, this is the best part. Robert Wilson right there, signed his name like a rogue rat. Literally, every time I see his name, it, it reminds me of Rugrats. Who remembers Rugrats? My favorite show. Dun, 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 dun. And then, who was your favorite? You all know who? Angelica. Angelica was the best. She was the nastiest little B word you'll ever meet. And I loved her. And then, Cynthia, her doll, her messed up, crazy looking doll. Cynthia is a really cool dancer. Cynthia, move it to the boot now. So, loved her. Loved, loved, loved Cynthia and her crazy hair. And then I remember seeing like a, what a Cynthia doll actually looked like and had beautiful long hair. And I'm like, what a crazy, crazy thing. Also, Angelica talked to her all the time. Ooh, and then was it Dee Dee? No, Dee Dee was the mom. Who was the other girl who like stood up for them? Angelica's age. I love it. DP Coleman, I am Cynthia. <laughs> DP Coleman, I am there with you. I am Cynthia too. <laughs> But guys, at $950, with the kickback, I believe you're actually going to get, you are, you're good. No, it's only 950 so actually, you know what? Email me. If you guys buy this bag, you don't get the kickback, I'm going to give you the kickback, because it's only $50 away for a $200 gift card. E DM me if you're like, Mason, I bought the bag, I, want, I need the kickback. I'm going to give you guys the $200 kick kickback. Seeing it right here. That's what you get for live shopping. You get the deals here. And then, of course, guys, we have the Lexington Pochette. So this is like a Pochette accessoire. This is also from 2002 by Robert Wilson. But 
Very different because the Lexington look, it stands up kind of on its own. I love, love, love this piece. Then you have the interior of this piece, beautiful. Nowhere, it's actually orange leather. Robert Wilson signed again, like a rug rat. You get that laser light show on the bag. It's beautiful. So unique, so gorgeous. I love this piece. This piece, by the way, is on sale. It was $1,500 for the same $450 on it, making it only $1,050. And guys, you still get that kickback, so you're getting another $200 gift card. So really, this piece is only $850. And this piece is really only, with that $200 gift card that I'm going to honor, because it's only $50 away, you're going to get, this is then only $750. You guys, you can buy both of these, handbag math, this one's free or this one's free. They're both free. Yeah, no, wait, literally. Actually, this is actually true. 750 plus 850 is math is really hard. <sighs> All right, it's a little over $1,500. Literally, if you're literally just buying that, if you're buying both of these, you're literally basically getting this one free because this one's basically been paid for. Handbag math, guys, is my favorite math. It's the only math to do. It's the only math to do. Okay, next piece. Ooh, my voice cracked there a little bit. Next piece, next piece. All right, what are we gonna pull out next? What are we gonna pull out next? You don't know, but I know what we're gonna pull out next. This cutie, that's what we're pulling out. Guys, this is the Louis Vuitton Cerise, which just means cherry red in French. And of course, Monogram Imprienti Montigny Nano Bag with gold hardware. Montigny was one of the streets that Louis Vuitton first had their store on. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning piece. I love how tiny it is. Tiny bag energy, I'm here for. Either go big or go tiny. Big or tiny. That's what I'm here for. I love it. Two little double handles. My hand doesn't fit through it, but that's okay. We're just gonna hold it like this. It does fit credit cards. Actually very roomy. Look at this long shoulder strap. Not detachable, but that's okay. Why would you wanna detach this? It's cute, right? You can even wear it crossbody if you want to. By the way, guys, if you don't follow uh, fashion but make it data or data but make it fashion on Instagram, you need to follow them. It's literally like an old financial analyst, which she still is, um, and she uses all the data that she learned how to like bring together data and all the search terms. So she's like, I love it because she always does good memes too when she goes, when people say um, minimalism is back, but uh, Logos have gone up by 67% on the runaways. Like, <laughs> but one of the things that's very interesting, she said over like for fall, winter 2023, when like Pantone color came out, I believe it was cherry red, there was over two, it was a search of like 256% increase of searches of cherry red for accessories. So get it while it's hot. $1,885, guys, from 2015. Monogram and so this is all leather, beautiful monogram on the inside of it. Stunning interior here. Look at this. Two large slip pockets. Look, my hand fits inside that entire side. Zip pocket as well. Beautiful. Virtually nowhere to the base. $1,885 for this amazing, amazing item. I love it. Love, love, love it. It's just so precious. And you get a little zipper there too. Two zippers. Isn't this so cute? Smells so good. $1,885, guys. So you're gonna get that kickback of $200. So really, it's only $1,685. Guys, remember to get the kickback, to get these prices. Head over to whatgoesaroundnyc.com. Bada bing, bada boom, just like that. There you go. There you go. All right. Are you ready for the next? This one's actually one of my favorites. And so much history behind this piece. I'm bringing it out, I'm gonna grab a sip of water because she is by she, she is me, she's thirsty. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I was like, where is this piece? Okay, this piece is so cool, guys. You're going to actually die when I tell you more about it. Okay, one moment. Okay, guys, 
This is the Louis Vuitton Demier Graffite Porte Document de Voyage with silver hardware. This is actually a runway piece. It went down the fall winter 2008 runway. Normally I can tell you what look it is and I forgot to pull which look. Normally I haven't memorized guys, I'm sorry. Failed you on that one. But anyways, it's actually rare to see this version because most of the time people take off these leather handles or they lose them. So I love that we have it all here. The only thing we don't have is the luggage tag, the white luggage tag. But guys, this is actually, Demier Graffiti did not come out until 2008, till the fall winter 2008 collection. So this is a menswear collection technically. Beautiful handles. So these actually are handle covers. And this is the clochette with the keys that do go to the lock that we do have here. So isn't this amazing? It's giving such alpine, it's giving opera ski. It's, oh my God, I heard the funniest term and I thought I was gonna pee myself because it was so hilarious. I'm a huge skier. It's also not that funny, but I thought it was funny. Cause I was like, oh yeah, no, I'm not, like when I ski, I like blues. I like blues and greens the best. I don't really care for black diamonds, like the moguls and everything. I'm just like, eh. Like I don't wanna, I don't, I'm, I love skiing cause you know, you feel like you're gonna die, but I don't wanna actually die. You know what I mean? I feel like moguls are gonna kill me. Anyways, long story short, also guys, I'm so excited. I ha just found I have a uh, lollipop in my coat. That's for later. I love candy so much. Um, <laughs> anyways, basically, where's it going at with this? Oh, I heard the funniest joke. Um, I, I am a blue green on the mountain but I'm a black diamond opera ski. And I'm like, I'm deceased. That is hilarious. It means you're a huge drinker after you do that. So, love an opera ski moment. This is giving opera ski. This is giving Aspen. This is giving chic. Great for work. Great for travel. Great for it all. So let's pull this out. I love it because the inside here, you actually get this pad right here, which actually will protect your computer, whichever side you put it on. Zip pocket as well. And I love the interior, it just has Louis Vuitton, it's beautiful. Love Demier Graffite. Look at that base too. Beautiful base, stunning base. So this piece, guys, $2,350. You're saving $750 or $705 on it. So it's only $1,645 for this glamorous, beautiful piece. Remember guys, to get this price, head over to whatgoesaroundnyc.com. You'll see a little You'll see me in the corner, basically. You'll see a video of me in the corner. And then you get the kickback on it, too. So you're saving another $200. You get a $200 gift card on the 16th that we're going to email you that you get to use for up to three months. So this piece really is only $14.45. Insane, right? We love it. We love it. A beautiful piece, guys. Absolutely stunning. Everything, by the way, guys, comes with our authenticity guarantee. We've been in business for 30 years. So we got you now, don't you worry. There we go. But look how chic this is. I just love it. And these do come off, by the way, here, I'll show you. It does come off. Just zip it off. And they're a little tight because this has basically never been used. The zippers are a little tight, which is a good sign, by the way and they do loosen up over time. Don't put any, I've had so many people be like, oh, I tried to put like WD-40 on it. Do not do that because that will, the zippers, because they're so small, it will soak into the leather and then the glue will come out. It's awful, just don't do it. So, see look, just take that off and there's the handle. It's kind of funny that you have a white handle protector, but it makes it so chic. It makes it very chic. Okay, we'll put this back on after. All right, guys. Let's move on to our next piece, shall we? I'm so excited about that sucker I found. I literally bought that on my way here. I literally like, stopped to get a pack of gum and a Diet Coke. Love a Diet Coke. And so then I was like, oh, I saw like a sucker sitting there and it was like 25 cents. And I was like, yes, please. Also 25 cents, no, I think it was 50 cents. 50 cents for a sucker? Come on. I mean, obviously I'm gonna pay it, but like, come on. All right, guys. Look at this. So guys, this is the sack plaque. This one's from 2003, actually interesting. It has the burnt orange interior. And Demi and Ebony first came out in 1997. We saw it around actually in 96 as well, but it wasn't until 1997, that, or 98, no 98, it came out in 98. We saw it in 96, 97 as well. It's like a little limited collection, but 
Louis Vuitton says it didn't officially come out until 98. Louis Vuitton.com. So that's what we're going with. But the Sack Plaque, however, came out first in 1968, and it was designed so you could easily fold it up when traveling. So it's such a great travel bag. If you want to look more elongated, you want to look taller, go for a, go for a more up and down bag like this. Ryan Pets, oh, thanks for the lollipop. Yeah, the lollipop emoji. <coughs> Guys, I'm so excited. And it's a blow pop. Here's the thing, okay. Okay, tell me, I love a blow pop, but I also love a, um, why is it eluding me? A Tootsie Pop. I love a Tootsie Pop. But I like the flavor of a blow pop better than I like the flavor of a Tootsie Pop, but I like the chocolate interior better than the gum interior. The gum interior is just kind of gross. But who, what are you guys on? Are you guys team Tootsie or team Lolly? Or blow pop, sorry, team blow pop or team Tootsie Pop? So I'm all for it. I'm just so excited for that sucker. I literally, it's the first thing I'm gonna do after the show ends, guys. <laughs> but okay, 2003, but this bag's been around since 1968. It's still around, guys. They still make the, um, you know, they make a mini version of it, which is so cute. I love it. What go, oh my God, Dylan said both. Ryan Pat's Dum Dum. Oh my God, Ryan, Dum Dum Dum's out of a league, though. Dum Dum's its own league. Like, Dum Dum is like the premier sucker. Ryan, I'm there with you. So, that's like up top. Dum Dum didn't even come into it. Ooh, I'll buy a whole bag of Dum Dums and crush that. And then of course leave like the chocolate ones behind. So gross. Then I'll eat them out of desperation. <laughs> but okay, let me get back to the bag. $14.95 for just saving $300, guys, on this. It's only $11.95 for this piece. Uh, amazing, amazing item. Look at this interior. Virtually no wears. That burnt orange rather than the cherry lining. I love when they put the ring here. It's great for you to put like anything else you may need. I love it. Like you need to put like a little po pochette accessoire. Easily can do that. Two slip pockets, one for your phone, like the old phone days. Works for an Altoid or for suck. Oh. My sucker fits in it. There you go. It's great for a blow pop. Great for a Tootsie Pop. I bet you could fit at least three dum-dums in here. Another slip pocket. So many things. Look at the base. Virtually no wear, guys. Nothing. Nada. And look, it does fold if you need to. You can fold it down and lay it into your luggage and it's gonna spring back to life. That's the whole point of this. That's easy to fold up. All Louis Vuitton coated canvas items actually fold. Interesting fact. Okay. Once again, this piece is $1,495 for saving $300, so it's only $1,195. Amazing price, right? Amazing price. Okay, next. Next, next, next. Ooh, this one's giving very like, this one's giving like grandma, but like chic grandma. And this one's actually really interesting. So this is from the fall winter 2012 collection and this is when Marche, it was one of his last collections, but he actually did a full train, like a train literally came into it, and I love it. The train literally came in. Oh my God, Maya M. Cherry, great price. Maya M., sorry, Maya McHenry, oh my God, Maya McCherry. Maya, oh my God, I love you, Maya. It's so good to see you, by the way. Purse King, thank you, Maya. But so this is the Louis Vuitton Black Leopard Chenille Tapestry North-South Tote. I love it. Ryan Patch, you're right, he's giving Miranda Priestley with that leopard. But guys, interesting, this was actually designed by Richard Prince. So Richard, not Richard Prince, um, Stephen Sprouse. Stephen Sprouse was the first artist collaboration that Louis Vuitton under Marc Jacobs did for the collections. He sadly passed in 2004 at the young age of 50, but to honor him, Marc Jacobs re-released a bunch of his stuff and then released things that were never seen, like the leopard print, like the graffiti roses, which is what he's known for. But this is a cool piece because Back in the 1930s and 20s, that is when they call it the express bags. A lot of these bags were first created by Louis Vuitton. So Marc Jacobs literally took inspiration from back then, which was a lot of train travel, and turned it into bags like we see here today that are a little more modern. And I love it. So fall winter 2012, guys, it was $29.50, but you're going to save $885 on it, so it's only $2,065. And I love this. Each model that went down that runway, Google the show, it's really amazing they actually all had their own like um, train guy with them. People who hold your luggage, basically. 
Look at this. It opens up. Beautiful, right? Lo oh, can we hear that? Uh, one day I'm going to do a handbag zipper symphony, I swear. Guys, by the way, I'm actually going to see my favorite violinist, Hilary Hahn, January 11th, Lincoln Center. She's playing pro Kiev. I'm not a huge pro Kiev fan, to be honest with you, but I love Hilary Hahn, so I'm excited to hear her play. Anyways, enough about that. This bag is so great. You honestly could travel with it. It'd be a great weekender. Look how much room. Look how much room. And look how so nowhere. Nowhere. Beautiful. Something great Louis Vuitton does for us is they actually put the collections on the, on the brand tagging here too, which is amazing. So beautiful piece here, guys. This piece, once again, $2,950, but you're saving almost $900 off on it. So it's $2,065. Look at this. And this is actually the chenille here. This is like a, like a carpet almost. I love it. You're so right, though. It's very Miranda Priestly. Priestly. I love it. So cute. OK. Next bag, guys. Let me know how everyone's doing. I hope you guys are all having wonderful holidays. Thanks for tuning in. I know a lot of you are with your families. And this is the time for relaxation. So I'm hoping I'm bringing a little relaxation to your guys' day. This is our last show for 2023. But don't worry, we'll be back January 2nd after the new year. Very excited. So next pieces. OK. All right. I have a good one. This is like a cute, cute classic. Like if you're just looking for a cute little classic bag, this is one to go for. They actually don't make this anymore either. This is the Louis Vuitton Dimier Ebony Verona bag. This is the size PM, which means petite modèle in French, the small model. 2014 Dimier Ebony, which is actually the first, and then Dimier Zurich came out 2006, Graffiti 2008, and so on. So this bag was $1,850, but you're saving $555, making this bag only $1,295. Look, there's virtually no wear. I love this glazed chocolate leather trim. You get the lock and the, or the keys in the clochette here. Beautiful. And love how they did this detail here. So you could really kind of pull this out if you wanted to. I'm going to fix that real quick, fix that side. There we go. I love coated cameras. You can really just like kind of make it how you want. There we go. Perfect. Fixed. Beautiful on this side, too. You can pull it out if you want, but don't do that. You could, but why? You ruined the design. <laughs> but open it up. Beautiful. So this is actually has the cerise cherry red lining. Actually also comes with a Louis Vuitton dust bag. And a complimentary what goes around comes around dust bag always. Beautiful interior. Slip pocket as well. So look at the base. Four feet on that base. There's minor, minor corner wear, like the slightest of corner wears to it. So beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful piece. I love it. And then look, the lock does come with it, guys. You can actually lock this bag if you want to. I love putting the lock on the bag. Here, I'm going to actually put the lock on the bag right now. Doo -doo -doo. Here we go. Give me a minute. So I like to put the lock. This is, so how you can lock is you put the two zippers together and lock it. But I just like to put it on one, just like that, and you're all set. It's perfect. We love her. Once again, this bag, $1,850. But guys, you're saving $555 on this piece, making it only $1,295. No longer in production. It's the perfect little, like, running around bag, brunch bag, lunch bag, whatever you need to do. And if you're small enough, this can actually fit over your shoulder. But it's just a cute, cute bag. Just a cute classic here, right? OK. All right, next bag I actually have is from the Spring Summer 2010 bag. If you are, this is giving very like California, very like beach girl, very like, you know, live free, does yoga. Do I, I'm literally thinking of someone I went to school with who was not like this. And now she's like, I mean, she looks freaking incredible for how much yoga she does. But literally, like, just lives a good life, and I love it. And then here I am, ruled by capitalism, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the Louis Vuitton Spring Summer 2010 Sunshine Bag in monogram denim. Sunshine, I love it. $3,450. You're saving $1,035 on it. And then this is only $2,415. This was a runway piece. They made bigger ones for it too. This is the smaller size. Yes, yeah, the smaller size in it. 
real buckle. And look, look at that machete trim, guys. Virtually nowhere to that machete trim whatsoever. Beautiful. See, it unhooks just like this. Opens up. It's an ombre denim. Beautiful interior. It's almost like it was sun bleached, and I love that look. Love this, too. It says Louis Vuitton on the strap. You can take the strap off if you want to. I don't know why, but you could. You can also hook it down here if you want as well. I put the hooks down there. Opens up. It's actually stretchy. I love that. So pull this out. <gasps> Sorry, guys. I forgot to put the, the dust bag in that. Oh, well, it's fine. OK. Beautiful interior. Look at this. Beautiful Alcantara line. You guys, there's nowhere that interior. Nothing. Still smells so good. Oh my god. It almost smells like the beach. It does. I know, I know it's like all in my head, but it does. And what I do love is the way they, you see how they shaped this, the way they crafted it? Because when this goes over, nothing will fall out of the sides here. So smart. Like they really use these things for traveling, for everything. So that's what they designed them for. Louis Vuitton designs them so that you can travel with it, you can enjoy it, you can love it. So that's what they're all about. OK. Now, this piece, like I said, $3,450. It was, yeah, was $3,450, but you're saving $1,035 on it, making it $2,415. But guess what? You get that kickback as well, the gift that comes around. So you're saving another $200, making this only $2,415. Actually, let me see if that was correct. That's correct. You get a $200 gift card. I'm going to leave that out. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. The gift that goes around. So, beautiful piece, right? Oh, Stephanie Williams, thank you for the follow on Amazon. Guys, you want to be like Stephanie, not miss out on a show, head over to Amazon.com slash what goes around comes around or what goes around NYC.com. Click on the live shopping tag or the video that's in the corner, literally right over here, and add me to your calendar. I've added myself every time I get someone's phone. I add myself to their calendar. <laughs> and it's always like popping up. One of my friends is like, I don't know how to get rid of it. I'm like, good, good. I don't want you to get rid of it. OK, guys, a few more pieces for us today. The next item I have is this cutie. It's an Alma bag. By the way, the Alma was created for Coco Chanel in the 1920s. Then around 1935, I believe, she gave the um, basically OK for us plebeians to have it then. Sorry, it's getting a little hot underneath my um, jacket there. I know it's a good look, guys, but you know, what can you do? I'm also wearing cashmere. That wasn't smart. Under these lights, guys, I have like light, 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 light. <laughs> Got so many lights. I love it. That's why I look so pretty. But anyways, OK, back to this. This is the Alma Louis Vuitton Yoya Kusama monogram canvas 3D dots Alma PM. So actually very interesting. The Kusama collection first came out in 2012 under Marc Jacobs, and they brought it back, which I'm so happy they did. So they brought it back in 2023. We knew in 2022, November, that they were re-releasing this. Beautiful. Look, looks like hand-painted dots. So actually, the original infinity dots were these beautiful kind of like waves. I'll show you because on the inside of the 2012 version were the hand-painted dots, and on the exterior were like all the infinity symmetrical dots. On this one, by the way, there's nowhere to this one. This piece on the interior, by the way, this has all of, of the accoutrements with it. Nowhere. Shoulder strap, dust bag, everything. But look, the inside of this one, see, you get these infinity dots now. So they reversed it, which I love. See? You can see them. Beautiful. And then I love, they get the pumpkin. We have Kusama pumpkin. Her name signed in there, too. I can't believe she's, I respect her so much. She is like almost 100 and still doing it. Just that giant statue of her they put in the French flagship. Terrifying. Terrifying. Reminding me of Squid Games, but still into it. I love it. Even the dust bags has a little, has little pumpkins on it. Guys, one of the uh, buildings that me and my husband looked at to live in, it has a Yoya Kusama pumpkin out front of it. And I was like, oh my god, how chic of that to have in our front yard. He goes, it's not our front yard. I go, yes, it is. And he's like, well, us and a thousand other people. And I'm like, still, our front yard. And <laughs> I go, I wouldn't be surprised one night if I had too many martinis and I was like, let's go get that pumpkin. <laughs> oh, God. All right. That's why we don't live in that building. <laughs> but anyways, guys, this piece, so beautiful. It was 
$750, but you are actually going to save $1,150 on this brand new piece from 2023, and that new price is, sorry, I can't do math, so I have to, $4,600, guys, $4,600. I don't believe the Kusama collection is still out. We actually have the Kusama surfboard. They only made 100 of them, and we have one of them. Insane, I know, right? So, so incredible. So I love this piece. There's no wear to it, guys. Lock, key, clochette, shoulder strap, dust bag. Dust bag for the lock and keys comes with it. Beautiful base, no wear. There's literally no wear to this item, you guys. Such a beautiful piece. So, so beautiful. Now this one is actually a really cool one. And I love it. It says, have a Vuitton day on it. Which I think is so cool. And I love this because, one, it's upside down. And I love that it has rose gold hardware. So this is a Louis Vuitton monogram upside down, ink speedy, 40 centimeter, and it's from the men's collection. It was designed by Kim Jones before Virgil Abloh took over in 2018 is when Kim Jones designed this. This piece, guys, was $7,875, but you're saving almost four grand on it. No joke, we basically cut this in half. It's only $4,200 for this piece. Beautiful, right? I love it, and I love it. If you are like me, a taller guy, speedy 40s, are the way to go. Look how chic and elegant that is. It's just simple, it's classic, beautiful, beautiful bag. Like I said, you get the rose gold hardware on it. Absolutely stunning. Stunning interior, virtually nowhere. And you, of course, get a zip pocket here. Rose gold hardware, I think that's the best part about it. I love they call this the ink monogram, which you've seen in many things. You actually saw a Christopher Nimeth collection really had a lot of the ink monogram, but I love this piece. It's so great, especially if you're taller. It's a great way to go. Oh, Danielle E, thank you so much for the follow on Amazon. Guys, thank you all so much for your follows. Don't forget to follow us on amazon.com slash what goes around. Comes around along with what goes around NYC on Instagram. Oh my God, Brand Whore, welcome back. I love your name. And it's the only time I can actually say that word on here. Love the rose gold. I'm still there with you. Love, love, love rose gold. Live for it. I live for a rose gold moment. So beautiful, right? Okay, so, what are we doing next? What's going on, guys? What are we doing next? Let's do, ooh, okay, we're doing the Comit bag from the Fall Winter 2006 8 collection. I love metallic silver. I'm all for it. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? Guys, this is Louis Vuitton silver monogram. It's like a shimmery silver. It's so crazy because it's not just silver. It then like has sparkles in it. Don't you see it? Okay, you can see it on camera. Look at that. It's a sparkly silver. Crazy. Fall Winter 2008 collection. This piece was $2,150, but you are saving $645. It's only $1,505. Then guys, you get that $200 kickback. So it is only $1,305 like, basically. You guys, it's free. It's handbag math. Free. Also, if I'm still holding this, I just love the size. I love it. Oh my God, man, I know Maya, isn't this insane? It's so sick. I love that, it's so sick. I wish I was cool enough that I could come up with those words. Sick, dope, I love that word dope. <laughs> and look at this, guys, beautiful piece. It's basically like the square piece. Love a tassel friend, I mean, who doesn't? Silver hardware, love that sound. Zip open. Whoop. By the way, monogram imprint T is actually embossed. So there's two differences. There's embossed and debossed. So embossed is when it's basically going into the leather, and debossed is when it's protruding out at you. So just a fun little fact there. Also, did we hear that zipper? Yes. Love it. Okay. Do, do, do. do. All right, pulling this out. Oh, and it, guys, this leather, it feels like sparkles. It just feels sparkly. And it's meant to be soft and relaxed, look like this. So I love that. It's almost like a speedy, but like a square speedy in a way. I bet that was the inspiration, I swear. I'll do more research, but I swear it is. Oh, it smells so good. So good, look at this. Beautiful interior. Once again, you get that brand stamping here, but it also gives you the uh, collection. So it says the Autumn Ivra 2008, which just means uh, fall, winter in French. So, beautiful, right? I love this. You're wearing like an all black outfit? It's crazy. 
God, I don't, I don't know what it is. Seeing it in person? Wow. This needs to go home to someone. Because, guys, also only 1505 was 2150. You're saving 645. You get the gift that goes around, a $200 gift card on the 16th. Amazing. It's amazing, guys. So, love this piece. And everything's authenticity guarantee, guys. Remember, I've been in business for what? Say it with me. 30 years. Oh, oh, that did not work out, guys. I'm sorry. I love singing, but I'm not good at it. And nor should I. I'll probably lose more followers by <laughs> singing more. <laughs> But guys, this piece, once again, $2,150, but you're saving $645, so it's only $1,505, $200 kickback. So, you know, it's a free bag. It's a free bag. And guys, if you ever want to stuff them, it's okay to do this. If you need, like some of them, sometimes the holes are a little too small for them to put the stuffing in. Feel free to shape it when the bag's in there. You're not going to damage it. These bags are made to last forever, and they're made to be squared around and like moved around and used and enjoyed. Okay, what do we have next? Ooh, okay guys, I've actually seen a huge uptake in these bags, and it's actually kind of crazy. So this is the Louis Vuitton Mahina collection. So this is the beige Mahina, this one's called the Sevra. So beautiful piece. The Mahina collection is actually just a beautiful Trillian leather. So a drummed leather, almost like Clemence leather or Togo leather that you see from Hermes. And then they have small perforations to make the monogram throughout there. But they're not perforations you actually see through it, but they're just tiny enough, like laser done. It's so glamorous and beautiful. You get this slip pocket here in the back. Beautiful Alcantara lining. So guys, Alcantara lining is a suede adjacent. So it was first used in luxury cars because it holds up well. It's stain resistant, water resistant, scratch resistant, and it's easy to clean. So I get the question all the time, Mason, why wouldn't they just use real suede? Are they trying to cut cost? No, not at all. Because suede action, this is why you very rarely see vintage suede bags, really any suede bags produced. Suede is one of the most beautiful materials. It's so soft, it's so beautiful, but it is extremely delicate. So it's not easy to clean. It does bald if it rubs too much over time. And the point when Louis Vuitton makes these bags, they're thinking of two things. How long it'll last and will it hold up to travel? Because that's what their whole point is, traveling and usage. So Alcantara line is gonna last forever, just like the leather is gonna last just as long as the leather will. If so, actually most time we'll probably outlive the leather. So <laughs> that's what I love about it. Like I said, easy to clean, so you can really enjoy it. Look at these handles. Guys, I'm six foot five, goes over my shoulder, it's great. This is like, this is like grown up Louis. This is like, I'm a wealthy mother who has kids, they're all in different lessons. One's in Chinese lessons, one's in cello, the other one is learning gymnastics. That's what's gonna happen. That's why I can't have kids, guys. The issue is, is because if I have kids, they're doing all of it, and they're gonna be miserable. They're not gonna be happy because they're gonna be fantastic. Had I stuck to all the things I was supposed to be doing, who knows what would happen? Actually, it all worked out great, right? Here I am, basically on television, talking about handbags, it's a dream. <laughs> So, actually, I did great. <laughs> Jessica, thank you for the follow. And now look, guys, this is one of my favorite openings, silver hardware, but you just click this, and it pops open. There's actually still plastic on this hardware. Another slip pocket up front. Beautiful opening here. Zip pocket, and then you get that brown Alcantara line again. No wear whatsoever. Zip pocket here in the middle. So, I always get the question, I'm so afraid that, um, uh, what do you call it? They're like, I'm so afraid that basically the things are going to, um, you know, fall out. But that's why you get that one zip compartment in there to put all the stuff you're too afraid, to, you know, that you could lose. So that's what I love about it. So so many different compartments. Stunning, stunning piece. Look, four feet on the base, virtually nowhere. Look how it all matches up perfectly. There is, before I say anything, there is, and there's no corner where, guys, this bag's basically in perfect condition. I love it. And then look, instead of the keys, they give you this little clasp here, so you can put your a charm there or anything else that you may want. Love it. And this piece, guys, was $3,750, but you're going to save $1,125, making it only $2,625. These are actually really, really hard to find in this creative condition because people love these bags and they rarely sell them or get rid of them. So I love it. It first came out during the fall, winter 2012, 13 collection. 
the Mahina collection and has been around ever since. I actually don't believe they still make many of these. I mean, they still do the artsy, maybe, but not too many. Okay. Guys, we only have 10 minutes left, so we have a few more bags, and I'm gonna bring out two more bags for us, okay? And this next bag I'm gonna bring out, I'm around a classic one, a classic one that I think everyone needs. This is actually one that's no longer in production, and it's actually inspired from the original Poppin' Court, which was like a triangle little bag, and beautiful. This is a bigger triangle side, basically. But this is the Louis Vuitton Black and Monogram Canvas Poppin' Court MM Moyen Model. This is the newer model of the Poppin' Court. So, I love that they put basically the zipper here, and it locks to with the keys and close shut here as well. You get the handles, you get the shoulder strap, the shoulder strap does come off, but look at this. Two slip pockets on either side. Guys, this is no longer production. This is the 2017 when they released this actually, so it's an original release production piece. And the inside, zip pocket along with the slips. Gorgeous, right? And then look, so you can carry it like this. You can throw it over your shoulder if you want. It was $28.50, but guys, you're saving $570. So this piece is only $2,280. But also look at this. I know DP Coleman, isn't this a beauty? It's a beauty. But look at this, guys. You can easily throw the handles. They're meant to go down like this. So it changes the whole bag. And look, now it's just easily just like that. So beautiful, right? I love it. Stunning piece. Smells delicious. I love this bag. The Poffin Court, guys. And then you get that $200 back on it. So really, you guys, this piece is only $2,080. We're gonna send you that gift card on the 16th. Four feet on the base, virtually no wear. Monogram is right side up on every side. So beautiful, right? I love this piece. Honestly, I'm into it. I could wear this. I'm all for it. Oh, sorry, my neck. There we go, that's better. <laughs> Talking about handbags, it's strenuous on my neck. <laughs> okay, next piece. And our final piece. Guys, I'm so sad to say that. We've gone through almost 40 items here, guys. Isn't that insane? Mm, mm, this is it. This is the Prada Black Cast Skin Logo Camera Bag. So this is from the Fall Winter 2018 collection. This is the same collection they had like the monkeys and the mirage, the dinosaurs. I love the dinosaurs. Oh, I love dinosaurs. Okay, all I ever wanted, by the way, growing up, when I turned 16, my grandfather, one of the most amazing men in the world, he, gives, he gets us a car. Well, he gets it for you when you get your permit at 15 and a half, so you can learn how to drive on it and be safe. And guys, I was tall. I was like 6'1 already in school. Actually, no, I think I was already like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, so I basically was like, okay, all I want is an SUV. I want an SUV. And what I really wanted was a Jeep Wrangler painted like the Jurassic Park Jeep. That's all I wanted. Am I asking for too much? Probably, but you know what? That's all I said. So when it finally came time, I asked my, you know, my mom was like, so you just kind of had to put it in his ear or he's just gonna get you something. I said, okay, I'll put it in his ear. I told him, Papa, to call him Papa, I'm from the South. I would love a Jeep Wrangler painted like Jurassic Park. Literally went through a whole spiel, showed him the photos, had like a presentation prepared. He goes, I don't like Jeeps. I go, why? He goes, they flip over easily. I'm like, oh my gosh. It's not like I'm doing donuts. It's not like I'm actually driving it through the jungle. And then, and said, fine, just give me an SUV. I see an SUV. And they're like, fine, fine, fine. Guess what I got? A Mazda Cherry Red Miata. It was a go-kart. And then we discovered, because <laughs> we discovered because my birthday's in the summer, and I learned on this car in the summer, where the roof went up, I didn't fit in it, because it was a convertible. So. God, I just said all of that, and I sound like the most ungrateful little brat in the entire world, and I don't care. I'm here for it. <laughs> just kidding, no. No, it was actually a really great car, and I loved that little car. It was like a little go-kart. It was so cute. So thank you, Papa. Love you for that. So anyways, $1,350 for this Prada bag. I love it. It's a perfect crossbody. Camera bags actually first came out in the 1970s at a camera convention. Who thunk it? And then, of course, fashion took it over. So... <laughs> $1,350, you're gonna save $135, making this bag only 
$1,215. Easily throw it over your shoulder. You can wear it crossbody. And I love what Prada does. They put this little ring here, so you can put that little Prada case on it. So it's so perfect and cute. I love this bag. And then something I love is they went back to their original history. So Prada, when they first came out in 1913 and Mar Mario Prada founded it, they just did the triangle. They even put Prada in that triangle. So it was almost like if you knew, you knew. So I love that. So if you didn't have this here, it'd be almost like if you knew, you knew. So beautiful that they did that. Stunning piece. In this piece, once again, $1,350. You're saving $135, making this only $1,215. Let's look at the inside. Oh my God. Oh, that leather smells good. Okay. Look at the inside. It's beautiful. Zip pocket. And look, my favorite thing is, of course, that Prada. You know, I love this Prada. Um, they call it the, uh, you know what I'm talking about. The embroidered lining, embroidered lining, I love it, it's so beautiful. So guys, this piece is $1,215. Okay, stunning, right? Absolutely stunning. Guys, that's it. That's all we have for today. Guys, this is our final show here at what goes around comes around live for 2023, but do not worry, we'll be back in January 2nd, in 2024, on January 2nd, let me put my jacket back on. I like my jacket. I want to sign off with my jacket. It's a good jacket. I'm going to throw it on like this. I love doing this, but I also feel like a, a nerd, even though I am one, but it's okay. All right. So, guys, thank you all so much. Oh, no, I'm putting it on. I'm putting it on. All right, guys, thank you all so much for tuning in for our last show of the year. But do not worry, guys, we will be back in 2024 on January 2nd, so don't miss out there. Our first show is going to be a bag lunch at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with me, your host and handbag historian Mason Howell. Brand whore, Happy New Year to you as well. Never thought I'd say all those words together in one <laughs> sentence, but Happy New Year to you guys. Happy Holidays and New Year to everyone out there. And don't forget, if you guys are ever in New York City, please, please, please come visit us. We're located at 113 Wooster Street in the heart of New York City's Soho neighborhood. We, of course, have our other flagship location, 351 West Broadway, where we are celebrating 30 years of being in business. Guys, we are open for the rest of the week. We do not have any days off except for January 1st. We are closed for the new year. But DM us, be happy to show you around, get you a glass of bubbles, and show around the entire store and find you that dream piece to add to your collection or help you start it. Don't forget, we also have our store on for all of our West Coasters out there on, uh, what do you call it? Beverly Hills Drive. Beverly Hills Drive. Beverly Hills, just off Rodeo Drive. There's a gorgeous Dior Best Fun there. I'm begging Seth and Gerard, our co-founders, to allow me to drive that across America. I know I never will get to, but, you know, never, never hurts to ask every six months. <laughs> so, guys, don't forget to head over there. And if you can't come visit us, do not worry. We offer virtual appointments. The only caveat is you've got to provide your own champagne. All right, guys. As always, I'm your host and handbag historian, Mason Howell. And here at What Goes Around Comes Around, we're constantly chasing the timeless, the iconic vintage pieces. We're excited to have you guys along for the ride. Take care, happy new year, and we'll see you guys on January 2nd. Stay safe and have a wonderful time. Bye, guys.